Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're going to get Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl working in virtual reality using Vorpex. This is the first game in the series and my personal favourite game in the whole world. So let's swap over now and I'll show you how to set things up. So the first thing we want to do is launch the game on the screen without Vorpex and without Oculus Open. The first thing to do is take note of what game version you have. For me it's 1.06 and you can see that in the bottom left of your screen just there behind where my, my camera is. Now go into the options menu, disable full screen, set your resolution to 1280 by 1024 In your advanced options make sure vertical sync is disabled and set any other options you want for, for your own comfort as well while you're here. Click OK and exit the game. Make sure you've got your version as well from the bottom left. Again mine is 10006. So now we know our, the version of our game and we've set the settings that we'd like. Download this file here, it's in the description, extract it anywhere you'd like, open it up and grab the file that matches your game's version. So for me I want field of view 90 underscore v10006. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go to my installation directory. For me it's on a separate hard drive so I'm just going to go into my game installation directory now. And now in the bin folder paste that file that you've just downloaded the one that matches the version of your game, make sure it matches. I've already got it but I'm going to replace it here just for the video. Okay now run this file success, press any key to exit. Now that's swapped off field of view to 90. Couldn't find anything higher but I've tried it and 90 is really really nice. Now close this. Start up your Oculus app. Start up Vorpex. We don't need to configure Vorpex because we've just did everything manually. Um, Vorpex already has a profile for this exe file so as long as it's started and our Oculus app is started we can now just go ahead and click play. So I'm going to move the mic and give it a try. As soon as you're in game press the middle mouse button, it'll zoom you out so that you can select what you like. Load game. Man, I love this game so much. I actually learned all of the um, little guitar me melodies that these guys sit around the fire singing, uh, playing. I'm going to talk a bit about my Vorpex settings now, so if I open them up on the screen, you, unfortunately you won't be able to see this. Um, so I'm just going to read out what I've got and you can set these as a starting point and then adjust them for your own comfort. But for 3D reconstruction, I've got Z Adaptive. Separation 3D strength is 1, depth weighting near far is 0 0.5, and depth of field is on. For the image settings, everything default except aspect ratio correction, which I've got on pixel 1, 1, image zoom is 1. Head tracking settings, I've also lowered to 0 0.55, and that's it. It plays nice as well, it really does. I've tried the geometry mode and uh, I really didn't like that. But yeah, I think I could play this for a good few hours without any problems. Okay, I'm going to have to go now because my cat is attacking me. Go away. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. I hope it's helped you out. If it did, give me a like and drop me a comment below. I always love to know what's going on everyone and if you have any recommendations or requests, do let me know below and I'll try and get a video up for you as soon as possible. Make sure you subscribe too because I'm working my way through a huge list of games for this program and there's some great stuff coming up. Peace out guys.